Andrew Cox, and you're watching Cheap Eats, the show where you learn to cook with minimal effort and minimal cash. Today I'm here with Jared Warren from the bands Big Business and sometimes the Melvins, and he's going to show us how to make something that's cheap and easy. Take it away. All right. Uh, what we're going to make is a traveler's delight. Uh, I'm on the road several months of the year. And as a traveling musician on the road, it is often very difficult to find fine artisanal food that meets my nutritional dietary requirements. When I leave for the road for long periods of time, I take one of these cases. Inside, I usually have soy sauce, rice vinegar, assorted spices, sriracha, always, and peanut butter. With these ingredients, you can make a peanut sauce that Mamma mia, it's to die for. To get started, you need to boil some water, which we're doing right now. Um, this is going to soften your noodles. I use rice noodles that I buy from a grocery up the street from my house. The advantage of using these is that they, uh, you just have to put them in boiling water and they'll cook much like a, uh, a cheap ramen noodle will. You don't need uh, the water to be boiling the whole time. So when you're cooking in a motel, often the only heating impl implement you'll have will be a, a coffee maker and if you're lucky a microwave. We happen to have one of those here in Andrew's kitchen. We have a microwave, we also have hot water, so I'm just going to boil hot water for the noodles and let them sit. I'm going to take this. Yeah? I know. I will. I am. I have been. I willn't. I amn't. I camped. Okay. Twelve o'clock. Fifty thousand dollars. I got it. I'll be there. Okay. Love you too. Bye bye. My wife. All right. Sounds like we're just about there. On one of these old-fashioned kettles, this whistling means that the, the it's hot. It's, it's boiling. Ha! Ow! Woo! That is hot. Ooh! Ow! Ooh! You really want to be careful with any heat in the kitchen because it will burn you. Now, we just want to put these noodles in the bowl. This is probably a good serving. Again, you could use regular ramen noodles that you buy at a gas station or whatever. These just happen to fit into my little lunch box that I can take on the road. So I'm going to crunch these up like so. Add our piping hot water. Mmm. It already looks so good. Makes me want to just dive right in. Give that a little stir. And we're going to let those set for just a little bit of time. Those will be ready in about 10 minutes or so. Okay, while we're waiting for those noodles to cook, we're going to get started on the sauce. Now it's a peanut sauce, and so I don't really need a knife, but it makes me feel comfortable and powerful, so I'm going to hold on to it. I'll just leave that right there. Now your peanut butter. Uh, probably, oh, I'd say six, seven cups, thereabouts. That seems about right. A little peanut butter. Soy sauce. Mmm. Can't have enough sodium. Ask any doctor, they'll tell you. Rice vinegar. You could also use apple cider vinegar or another vinegar that you like, a spicy vinegar maybe. Garlic powder. But you could use fresh garlic if you have access to it. Generally gas stations don't have garlic powder, so or fresh garlic and a lime, which you can get at most gas stations that serve beer. Also, I have some, some cumin and coriander that I've roasted to perfection and ground in a uh, coffee grinder that I've designated as a spice grinder. I learned that from watching TV. You add some of the cumin and coriander, but this is optional. This is just something that I like to put in mine. And some lime. Last but not least, a little sriracha. Cool. 
or a lot of sriracha, depending on your taste. And you can give this a mix. It might be kind of difficult, um, depending on how thick or cold your peanut butter is or how weak you are. Uh, you, might, you might have poor wrist strength. Um, if that's the case, you might want to get a friend to do this for you. <clears throat> so you mix that up real good. And if it is too hard, if it is really thick, you can add a little bit of the hot water that you have from that. The noodles. Well, there you have it. I'm going to give this a little taste. That's pretty good. If I didn't know it, I'd think I was in Thailand. It's incredible. Have you ever been to Thailand? Have I ever been to Thailand? No, I haven't been to Thailand. Um, but I enjoy their restaurants very much here in the States. Um, but I would like to go to Thailand someday to eat food. Because you gotta have to eat food every day, you might as well do it in Thailand. Am I right? Right. Alright. Uh, oh, condiments. So here's some optional toppings. Um, again, playing into the gas station theme as it's a peanut sauce. I chose uh, Heat Planters Heat Peanuts. I made sure to grab the one that had the most dust on it because then you know it's aged. You can, these out. you can just dump these on or you could uh, get real fancy and use a knife to cut them up. But you're probably not going to have access to a cutting board at a Motel 6. But you might. Do you usually tour with big knives? Uh, is that innuendo? Or are you actually no, no, asking? No, 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 no. Yes, I do. No. Both? Uh, actually, I do travel with a knife. I do. I managed to fit not one this big, but I fit a knife into this thing. Um, and when it's in this, then your bandmates can't complain too much. Uh, why do you have a big box in the van that's taking up all the space? Like, well, it's my lunchbox. Everybody eats lunch, so I can't really complain about that. All right, these things are probably just about done. Or at least done enough for the purposes of this. So I'm gonna have to drain the water, which I'll do recklessly, because hey, it's only rock and roll, huh? Am I right? What do you think about that, Andrew, is my catchphrase for cooking. Am I right? I'll just say that at the end of everything. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Hey, forget right. about it. Am I right? Bam. Put this in your mouth. Bam. Shut up. Am I right? Okay, now our noodles are pretty much cooked. We got our peanut sauce. Mmm, mmm. Go. All right, we mix that in. Ooh, that's a king's feast. Look at that. What am I in? What am I in? A four-star restaurant? Forget about it. Wait, what was that? Uh... Okay, we can add our peanuts now. Garnish, mmm, heat peanuts. And this is one more thing, the final touch. The thing that will make this a healthy meal is sprouts. That's right, sprouts. I uh, sprout these in the van on tour. All you need is a mason jar or similar, uh, some lentils or mung beans. You soak them. Uh, wash them, soak them overnight in water, rinse them, put a paper towel with rubber band on the top, and then uh, rinse them twice a day, keep them dry, and they'll grow into beautiful sprouts that you can eat. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. They've been every them. They're really good, though. They're good for you. But you can actually do this in the van. And this is something that's alive that you're putting on your food that you can eat. Mm. Mix that all up. Well, there you have it. Uh, Thai inspired road peanut sauce with rice noodles and lentil sprouts. Let's try it out. That flavor country, am I right? I think I am. I usually am. So I guess we'll see you next time on uh, Cheap Eats with Andrew. 
where you cook with minimal effort, uh, positive attitude, I guess no money, because you're lazy, uh, but that's not my problem. Am I right? Mmm. Nothing beats hot noodles on a 95 degree day. Mm-hmm. Uh, am I right? Uh, oh. See that?